Hello everyone. Today we are going to start a new chapter of 11th standard biology named Animal Kingdom. In this chapter we will study all about animals. Animals are divided into two phylums as chordata and non-chordata. Chordata are the animals with notochord and non-chordata are the animals without notochord throughout their life. Chordatas are further divided into three subphylums while non-chordatas into ten subphylums. So let's start with phylum non-chordata. Phylum non-chordata is divided into ten subphylums as Polyphera, Cylindrata, Tinophora, Platyhelminthes, Eschelminthes, Anilida, Arthropoda, Mollusks, Echinodermata, and Hemichordata. So now let's see the examples of each of these subphylums. Examples of subphylum Porifera, which are commonly known as sponges, are Cycon, known as Kypha, Spongila, known as freshwater sponge, Euspongia, known as bath sponge, Euplectella, as venous flower basket. Subphylum Cylindrata, animals of this subphylum are commonly known as Nidaria. Examples are Physalia, as Portuguese man of war, Hydra, Adamsia, as sea anemone, Penatula as sea pen, Gorgonia known as sea fan, Mindrina or Diploria both as brain coral, Aurelia as jellyfish and Obelia. The next subphylum is Tinophora which is commonly known as sea walnut or comb jellies. The examples are Pleurobrachia and Tinophora. The next subphylum is platyhelminthes, which are commonly known as flat worms. Examples are planaria, fasciola, commonly known as liver fluke, tania, known as tape worm. The next subphylum to platyhelminthes is ascalminthes. The meaning of word ascus is sac and helminthes means worms. The common name of this subphylum is Nematelminthes, means the animals of this phylum are commonly known as Nematelminthes. The examples are Ascaris, roundworm, Busheria, which is filarial worm, and Cyclostoma, hookworm. Now, the next subphylum is Anilida. The word Anilis means rings. That is, these animals are ringed animals. Examples of this subphylum are Neris, Fretima, means earthworm, Hyrodinaria, which is blood sucking leech. Subphylum Arthropoda. The word Arthros means jointed and Podas means appendages, that is, hands or legs. It means that the animals of this subphylum have jointed appendages. This is one of the largest phylum which is found on our earth. The animals of this phylum are omnipresent. They are present everywhere. Let's see the examples. The economically important insects of this phylum are apes, that is honeybee, bombyx, which is silkworm, Lecifer, that is lac insect. The vectors are Anopheles, Culex, Aedes, which is mosquito. Gregarious pests are Locotia, which is locust, and the living fossil is Limulus, the king crab. Now, subphylum Mollusks, where mollus means soft, it is the second largest subphylum examples are pila that is apple snail bivalve pinctada known as pearl oyster sepla as cuttlefish loligo as squid octopus as devilfish 
Aplysia as sea hair, dentalium that is dusk shell, and chetopleura that is chiton. Now, Echinodermata, where Echinus means spines and derma means skin, that is, these animals have spines on their skin. The examples are Asterias, Starfish, Echinus, which is sea urchin, Antidone, as sea lily, Cucumeria, that is sea cucumber, Ophura or Ophutrix, which is brittle star. Now, hemichordata, where hemi means half and chordata means rod, that is, it's a connecting link between the chordata and non chordatas. The examples are balanoglossus and secoglossus. Now, we are starting with phylum chordata, which is divided in three subphylums as urochordata, cephalochordata, and vertebrata. So, Let's start with Eurocordata. Eurocordata, commonly known as Tunicata, the examples are Ascidia, Salpa, Doliolum, and Hudmania. Cephalocordata, the example is Branchiostoma, which is commonly known as Amphioxus or Lancelet. Then the next subphylum is Vertebrata, which is divided in two divisions as Agnatha and Ganathostoma. Agnatha are the animals which do not have jaw and the Gnathostoma are those which have jaw. Division Agnatha is divided into class Cyclostomata while division Gnathostoma is divided into two superclasses as Pisces and Tetrapoda. So let's start with Agnatha, the animals which lacks jaw. It is divided in class Cyclostomata, where cyclo means circular and stoma means mouth. That is, these animals have circular mouth. Examples are Petromyzon as lamprey and Mixin hagfish. Gnathostomata is the division of animals which bears jaw. It is divided in two superclasses as Pisces, which have fins and tetrapoda which have limbs. Superclass Pisces is divided into two classes as chondric thighs and ostic thighs while superclass tetrapoda is divided into four classes as amphibia, reptilia, aids and mammals. So now let's start with superclass Pisces. Uh, class chondric thighs where chondron means cartilage and ichthys means fish that is cartilaginous fish examples are scoliodon that is dogfish ristis that is sawfish charcharodon that is great white shark trigon that is stingray electric ray that is torpedo common skate hammer-headed shark now the class ostic thighs where osteon means bone and ichthys means fish that is these are bony fishes the examples are marine fishes like exocoitus which is flying fish hippocampus the seahorse the freshwater fishes like labio rohita that is rohu katla that is katla clarias that is magur. The aquarium fishes like beta, the fighting fish, tyrophyllum, the angel fish. Now let's see the examples of superclass tetrapoda, class amphibia, where amphi means pole and bias means life. That is, these animals live both on land as well as in water. The examples are bufo which is toad, rana, which is frog, hyla, that is tree frog, salamandra, that is salamander, ichthyophis, which is limbless amphibia. Now, class reptilia, where repeat means to creep or to crawl. The examples are shilon, the turtle, testudo, the tortoise, chameleon, the tree lizard, Kelotis, the garden lizard, crocodilus, which is crocodile, 
alligator, hemidectylus, which is wall lizard. Some examples are of poisonous snakes like Naja, which is cobra, Bangaras, which is crate, Vipera, which is viper. Now, class A's, where Avis means birds. The examples are Chorus, which is crow, Columba, which is pigeon, Cetacula, which is parrot, Struccio, which is ostrich, Pavo, which is peacock, Aptenodites, which is penguin, Neophron, which is vulture, Passer, which is sparrow, and Kiwi. Now, class Mammals, where Mame means breast or nipples, that is, the animals have breast or nipples. The examples are oviparous animals like Ornithorhynchus, which is platypus, and the viviparous animals like Macropus, which is kangaroo, Tyropus, that is flying fox, Camelus, that is camel, Makaka, that is monkey, Ratus, that is rat, Canis, which is dog, Phallus, which is cat, Aliphas, which is elephant, Equus, which is horse, Delphinus, which is common dolphin, Belenoptera, which is blue whale, Panthera tigris, that is tigers, Panthera leo, that is lions. If you want the PDF of this chart, it is supplied to you in the description box. Go and check there. And if you enjoyed this video, do hit the like button and subscribe our channel.